So the nominees for the 2017 Literary Inspired Web Series Awards just went up and I haven't looked yet. And so I thought I'd record my reactions as I'm seeing what's going on. Best Actress in a Leading Role. My nomination was um, someone from Grim Reflections, the Super Girl Play Cinderella. Uh, okay, so we got our Bathsheba from the Eighth of Day. Solid choice. I'm kind of surprised the girl who played Robin didn't get nominated for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Lydia's a lead. Um, Laura, uh, the girl who plays Anne in um, Project Green Gables, she got nominated again. She got nominated last year. But she's so cute. And I really like the show. Madeline, who played Catherine Moreland in the Kate Moreland Chronicles. Another good option. Would definitely consider. Oh, Sarah Taylor, who plays Viola, or Sam Messing in 12th grade, got nominated. That's, that's pretty good. I might go for her. Nothing like the sun is not a literary inspired web series. Yeah, I'm going with Sarah, from uh, who plays Viola slash Sam in uh, 12th grade. Sorry, not sorry. I really like 12th grade or whatever. She was great. Last category, Best Literary Inspired Web Series. And the nominees are The Adventures of Serena Berg. Not wouldn't be my top choice. Like it well enough. Of course, away from it all. Sweeping the entire thing. Nominated in like every freaking category. If Better Strangers isn't nominated, I might go with away from it all. It's just so new. That's the thing. I feel like most shows are either so new that you're like, oh, we don't know them yet. Or like, they've been over for so long. You're like, is this seriously still nominated? Ho Party, of course. Do they put the entire trailer for each one in the 12th grade or whatever is nominated? I might vote for them. If Better Strangers isn't the last nominee, then 12th grade or whatever, or 8th grade will be my nomination. Okay, that's it. Now I've just got to decide 8th grade or 12th grade or whatever. 8th grade or 12th grade or whatever. I'm going to go with 12th grade or whatever. 8th grade has a lot higher production quality and stuff, but I just love how, like, real 12th grade or whatever. It felt so authentic, which is hard to do with a character pretending to be someone, like, a gender that they're not. Yeah, they did a really good job. They deserve it. Well, I guess that's it. Bye-bye!